Thank you very much, Elmer, for all of your years of work and service and uh, for that introduction. So I'd like to start by echoing Elmer's welcome. It is my great honor to welcome you all, parents, grandparents, siblings, our honored guests, and the college's amazing faculty, staff, and trustees to College of the Atlantic's 41st commencement. I've been advised that my role here today is to keep things moving and to blend into the background, so I promise to be brief. This past fall, we had a documentary filmmaker come to campus to begin an oral history project centered on the founding days of the college. In one of those interviews, COA's first president, Ed Kelber, our George Washington, who is here today, spoke of setting a certain tone at the college in some of its seemingly mundane early policies. Ed told a story about an initial meeting with Mr. Stork, Millard's first boss and the founding head of Buildings and Grounds. Mr. Stork had come from a larger hierarchical organization and he started by asking Ed where he should put the presidential parking space. <laughs> to which Ed responded, if there's a space when I drive in, I'll take it. A bit taken aback, Mr. Stork then moved on to the critical topic of snow removal. He wanted to know who should be involved and how it ought to work. After a pause, Ed responded, if it snows, grab a shovel. <laughs> There's something distinctly COA about that response. It encapsulates a broader approach to running a college or more broadly, leading a life. That underlying philosophy is the essence of human ecology. The idea wasn't to describe a shovel or to place it in historical context, but to pick the thing up and use it in the world, hopefully productively. In fact, this active, contagious idealism, this sense of don't complain, pick up a shovel, is thick on the ground throughout the college and under this tent among our talented faculty and staff and trustees in addition to our amazing students, a group filled to the brim with shovel lifters. It has been my great pleasure to have had the chance to work with members of the extraordinary class of 2014 over the last several years, mostly through their participation on board committees, something we actively encourage at COA. And as anyone who watched yesterday's remarkable senior project presentations can attest, it is overflowing with picked up shovels. I think it's safe to say that the outside world has no idea what awaits it when this extraordinary group leaves these gates and unleashes a tsunami of positive change on an unsuspecting planet. So now I have the honor of turning things over to the college's first alumni president and our shovel wielder in chief, <laughs> Darren Collins. Thank you. 